Hey, well, hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm doing fine. Thank you so much for asking. So something came across my radar, and I just wanted to encourage us um, to not allow people to guilt you or religious you into anything. The Bible says that Jesus was tempted at all points, just like we are, yet he did not sin, okay? So, you know, sometimes people will say, uh, oh, you're doing this for the Lord, you can't get tired. Oh, yes, you can get tired. Some of us have so many responsibilities, okay? We're either the homemaker or we're the husband. Some of us are taking care of aged parents. Some of us are taking care of, um, you know, children. Some of us are taking care of children that may be disabled. Even a spouse that may be disabled. You know, we have financial issues. There's so many things that that we could be dealing with. And you know what I mean? I mean, everybody's situation is different. Maybe you're not dealing with anything. But the thing is, when people, you know, you, you, you're you allowed to get tired and be tired. Because a lot of times there are so many things and people pulling on us. They're not pouring into us, but they're pulling us um, pulling us in different directions. They want this, they they want that. They are taking, but they're never replenishing uh, um, our energy or anything. So, you know, yes, Jesus got tired. He was tired, okay? So it's okay if you get tired. Sometimes you can't teach uh, your homeschool that day. Sometimes, you you know, your child may have a game or practice or piano, you know, whatever the, you know, the uh, activity is. You're not able to attend. You don't feel like it. Don't force it. It's okay. You know, we, 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 the Bible says whatever you don't do in, in faith is what? It's a sin. So don't do it if you don't want to do it. It's okay. Okay, it's all right. Sometimes, you know, there's just certain things, wifely duties, you might not feel like it. Don't do it. You know, don't do it. Okay? Um, and two, you know, I mean, the, the Bible says Jesus got hungry. So, okay, so he hungered. He also did what? He was, he thirsted. Okay? He wept. Jesus wept, shortest verse in the Bible, because of, you know, situations. He wept. So it's okay to cry. Don't, you know, don't go around telling people, oh, don't, don't cry. Stop crying. Don't, don't cry. There ain't nothing to cry about. Or don't, men don't cry. Or uh, big boys don't cry. Big girls don't cry. There's nothing to cry about. Blah, blah, blah. I remember when I first uh, really gave my life, committed my life to, to Christ and, um, you know, was part of an uh, institution or whatever, and I would just weep. <laughs> I would always just weep because I felt so much remorse for my sinful actions and those actions that caused Jesus, um, Father, first of all, to to look away from him because he was carrying all of our sins on on him but for the 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 the, the, the trauma and the travesty of of the of the crucifixion you know i mean and it's not just the crucifixion not just the nailing of the hands two stakes and or the, the cross but oh my goodness all of the demoralizing and Oh my goodness, they tortured him, pulling his hair out of his beard, you know. I mean, saying things, spitting. Oh, I mean, I mean, he's, he's carrying a cross, like a heavy cross. He's carrying it, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness, I wept. I used to just weep I, for months and months and months. I would just weep because I was 
I felt so, so horrible because, you know, I felt just terrible. You know what I mean? So Jesus, oh, oh, but what happened was they would be like, don't cry. Oh, what? Everything all right? Why you don't cry? You know, no, don't tell me not to cry. I mean, tears are di have different meanings. Some are tears of cleansing. Some are joy. I mean, but tears, it's okay to cry, period, is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter who you are. It's okay to cry. You can cry alone uh, and, you know, you can get away and cry. Whatever you need to do, tears are good. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so he 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 got he got sleepy. Okay, he got tired. He hungered. He thirsted. Okay, he wept. He was at all points tempted, just like we were, but he didn't sin. So even temptations, uh, I'm sure. Sexual temptations. People were coming to him. I'm sure some women, probably, you know, because in them days, man, you think prostitution was big in the 70s or whatever. You know, there was a lot of prostitution, a lot of sacrificing of different, you know, all kinds of gods, little gods, big, you know, all this little stuff that was going on. So a lot of things, you know, he had to face, just like we have to face on the, on the daily. So I just want to encourage you, you know, if you need to cry, cry. If you're hungry, eat. If you're tired, lay down. Get rest. Okay? If you can't go no further, stop. And, and replenish yourself and then keep moving. You know, sometimes we have to eat something very nourishing, have a nice warm brothy soup, you know what I mean? You make some good crusty bread, you know, you might need some nice beef, you know, a roast or steak or something, you know what I mean? There are certain things you have to eat, you know, you might need a fruity uh, smoothie, you know, a green smoothie, you know? Well, my, one of my favorites, the uh, beet, beetroot and uh, watermelon, you know, you, you, you might need a nice, refreshing, cold glass of water. You might need some hot tea, you, you know, and just relax and sit down and enjoy yourself by yourself. You know, you might need to block everything out. You know, it happens like that sometimes, and it's okay. I remember once, you know, because who, the person I, I mean, I have a certain personality. So, I don't necessarily have to be around people. I'm an a, 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 a introvert. I'm not, I'm an extroverted introvert. <laughs> Somewhat. But, you know, all kind of parties and situations and all that kind of stuff, I'm, I'm not with it. And I remember this one pastor, he was like, oh, you shouldn't be like that. Because I was telling him, I said, well, you know, because there were certain things going on. And I was like, no, I don't think I'm going to attend, you know, whatever. He was like, oh, you shouldn't be like that. Um, you should, you know, start, you know, should, you know, just, ugh, ch you know, changing who I am. But, I, you know, you can't put a square peg in a, in a round hole. It's, that's not who I am. You know, I don't socialized like that. I don't have anything to say to some, you know, not that I'm some dull person. I, I know how to carry a conversation, but I'm not always in the mood to carry a conversation. I don't just carry conversations for conversation's sake. You know, we need to be talking about something and there you must, you know what I mean? I mean, of course, there are sometimes, of course, when if it's somebody who needs to talk and or, you know, some situation going on. Of course, we're going to deal with that. But what I'm saying is, I'm, I'm just not that person. That's, I'm just not that person. Sorry. You know, I'm just not the one. You know, but, you know, but, you know, just, you know, but be, you know, be true to yourself. Uh, be who God is calling you to be. Um, you know, and don't conform to, the, you know, other people and what they're saying and what they're doing and all of that because the you know first and foremost who what do we want to do is 
We want to please God. We want him to be happy with us. We don't want to be an enemy of his. We want him to be his friend and we want him happy with us. You know, but like I said, if you, you know, sometimes you just, you need to be replenished. You need to eat something. You need to drink something. You need to rest. You know what I'm saying? You need to come away. You need to pray. You need to just listen to God. Listen to some, you know, some nice uh, music, you know, um, nice music. Okay. Peaceful music, you know. Like the music we listen to in our house. Very peaceful and whatnot. Very, it just sets a different tone or whatever. But anyway, I just, that's all I wanted to say. Hope you've been encouraged. Hope you're doing well. Um, I want you to keep, just hang on in there. You know, things are rough for a lot of us. You know, but we, what's going on is we're being changed into the Im image of, of Christ. There's so much suffering. Um... We, we have to suffer. We just have to suffer for the cause of Christ. And it's, you know, it's not something that we can really get away from. Um, so just hang in there and do the best you can. We love you very much. And we're praying with you and for you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.